It's Wednesday. Time to work it on a Wednesday. Whoa. And we got Wilson yeah. from a well salon. Yeah. And some of us are kind of chasing the fountain of youth. And it's like Isn't it was, that fun? It, it is it fun. It doesn't it's, end. It doesn't end. It, just, <laughs> it keeps going. You're not going to find going. it. We'll keep trying. <laughs> we'll but. keep trying to chase it. What, what was it before they really thought there was like a fountain and if you drank the water from it, yeah. then you would stay? That's right. But now we have tricks and hacks <laughs> yes. to make those things and work hair for dye. you. And hair dye. <laughs> it's which, hair color. Oh, hair color. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hair color, which luckily I was able to do a little bit right there yesterday. That's right. Mm -hmm. So as we age, uh -huh. we have to think about how our skin tone is changing and perhaps you might be letting your hair grow gray. Go right. gray. I mean, after the pandemic, that was a real thing that's happening and I don't know if it will continue or not, but right now it's still a strong look. But as we age, our skin color changes, the elasticity leaves yeah. the, so perhaps you don't need the same color. So you have to work with what your skin gives you. Okay. And, um, and you've got, always remember those brows because we tend to mm -hmm. lose the brows. They get lighter, they get thinner. And so you wanna, whenever you get color, you wanna make sure, or whether you don't get color, if you are gray hair, you need to strengthen those brows. It, keeps you from looking what I call the raccoon look when you get your picture made. Oh, so then you what, would it be like light, dark? It's under? just all because you have no brows, there's no color there. Or that people oh. are putting too light of a pencil on them. Okay. So you can just have your brows tinted and that brightens up your whole face. See, it makes you look more youthful, radiant, brighter. It's just better. Because sometimes you look at someone and you're like, you're not even really wearing makeup. Why do you look so good? You know what it is, because they got some good they got brows. Brows. That makes a big difference. That brows and difference. lashes are great. So sometimes when you change your hair color to lighten it as your skin gets more pale or thinner looking, yeah. you have to um, work on your makeup. Oh, it's got to be a balance. It's got to be a balance between the two. And so many people, you see them, and it's like, this just not quite right. And yeah. so you've got to have a balance between your hair color and your makeup and you don't need the same makeup as when you were 35 as when you're 50. It's just a big difference yeah. in what you do. So just mm -hmm. keep it attuned, keep it going, keep an eye on what you're doing. So many habits y'all that we like you we form and it's so hard to let It's go. hard to break them. It is just like people come in and go, you won't believe this. I used to be toe-headed or you won't believe this. My hair used to be so dark. I'm, I'm glad it's uh -huh. not now. It's not now. We're so talking about we're the present do. and what we can do to help you now. What? Okay, what about too late? They had this like, oh, you know, I've always worn mine so long. Now I'm a little bit older. And we're having a crazy epidemic of people just, you know, they can get their hair longer because the trends are going longer. But just because you can, just because they make it in that size Doesn't does mean not you... mean that that's what you need. Long hair <laughs> has got to be about balance. Okay. If it works for your face shape and you put a, if you have a long shaped face, it's got to have a break to it somewhere. But just long hair that you keep in a ponytail that's unkempt, untended to, is not youthful looking. It, it doesn't make you look a little bit older. Frumpy. Yeah, frumpy. Frumpy. Right, and that's, <laughs> that's not a word that we're going for. You know what I mean? And sometimes you just don't know. You think, but you know, you didn't want to do it like or you that know, you don't are, care. Yes. You don't care. That's what it is. It's like, yeah, just. And that's men that. or women. We have yeah. to care, or right. else we become the ancient grandparent that nobody really wants to be around. Right, like you, you want to look be, fun. You, you gotta look fun. You're not gonna be approachable. So uh, it's all about changing your hair. And if someone were to come in, like what would you say, you know, cause you're good, <laughs> you're, you're not gonna hold back. I'm always is... trying to make a joke. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm always trying to have fun with it. But you gotta have hair that now functions for you. And so it's the color, the makeup and the hair texture. Yeah. Sometimes as those hormones and perimenopause and menopause and just aging, uh -huh. you get a new hair texture and it requires too much work to keep up your signature look that you do. So sometimes just a little change right. can make a difference. Like I don't want to spend an hour every day doing it. I just want it to, you know, I'm, I'm over that. Everybody wants to do faster. Yes. But you have to do a little to start it off right. And a basic shape is the best way to do that. So we want to keep it healthy and more youthful every way that we go. So and if your hair, your makeup, and the texture of your hair, the style, just keep them in check. Keep it in check. And it's if you're 2023. looking for a new place to go, Wow Salon, wow Salon. Man, we'll hook it up. Wilson's We'd love to man. have you. Thank you, Wilson. We Thank love you. It when you come Megan. on.